Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're discussing Muri NFT. Just before we start the video, make sure you have a subscribe button. It's going to do a big giveaway at 500 subscribers. So make sure you hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss out. Now what Muri is, it's a 10,000 collection and it's this kind of anime style art. Now just initially looking at this, the things I don't quite like are the fact that it's going to be a 10k collection and in today's current market with kind of like this mini bear market we're experiencing, I think it's harder to do well as a, as a larger collection. Also, unfortunately, this kind of anime style art hasn't been doing as well recently, but if this project can offer something more than just this anime style art, I believe it can do quite well. Now, in terms of the mint details, well, the white, the public mint is actually going to be happening today, and it's going to start, it's going to be a Dutch auction starting at 0 0.3 Ethereum, and then tomorrow is going to be the whitelist sale, which is going to be 50% lower than the final price of the Dutch auction, which I quite like as it rewards these kind of whitelisted holders to make sure they always benefit rather than the public Dutch auction just going so low that the white list of people don't benefit at all. Over to their website, we can actually see their roadmap. Now, one of the first things they plan to do is actually create a token for Muri. And what this can then be used for in the future, for example, is purchasing physical goods and other things which we aren't currently aware of. They also plan to produce an anime and this will be available as an animated version and as a printed version and will include some of the characters from the NFT collection. They also plan to produce these physical toys, these kind of high quality but low quantity toys, which will be available later this year. So it maybe means that they won't be available to all the holders. And then finally, a fashion line. Now this will include merchandise, but something quite interesting they also say here is the fact that they're, they're all gonna produce their own physical craft line, where each kind of NFT will have craftable traits and then the holders of these nfts can redeem and craft physical versions of it so this would be quite cool and could make these kind of this fashion line much more personalized to each nft holder but i'm not exactly sure how this works currently now in my opinion this is quite a large roadmap and promises a lot of things now i think if they can pull this off this would be really successful for the project however the only thing the only downside comes in if they over promise and under deliver it can spell a lot of bad things to this project on the Murray website, we can see the team behind the project. Now, one thing I quite like is the fact that this is quite a big team of around 15 people, meaning this should help them achieve their ambitious roadmap. However, one thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the fact that they aren't all fully docked. So some of them don't even produce their full names. Some of them do produce their full names, but don't link any sort of LinkedIn profile or Twitter profile. So it's hard to actually find out exactly who these individuals are. So what I would call this is a partial doxing. If we head over to... so their twi Twitter, we can see this house project is actually connected to Muri and they're somehow interwined and they have that to their own OPNC page which is currently sitting at a 0 0.6 Ethereum floor. So that shows some good signs about the team and they also have their own official website uh, and they also have linked one of their founders here. So I think in terms of the team, I think most likely this should be okay, but just be slightly careful as I believe they should, they're only partially doxxed. Now, heading over to Discord, you actually see some of the sneak peeks for this project. And I quite like this art, even though it's anime style, and we're sort of this sort of seeing this anime style art kind of go down a little bit. I think this is quite cool art. However, I do think potentially in a 10,000 collection, we could see some of the art pieces looking quite similar, but we'll have to see on the actual reveal date to see if this is true or not. So heading over to their Twitter, one thing they do quite often is actually they release these kind of collaborations with, for example, Karafuru, Mechaverse, they also did one with Starcatchers. And this is quite cool and it shows they're interacting with other projects in the space. However, sort of these sort of projects do these art collaborations quite a lot and it's just basically, for example, Karafuru allowing other projects to use their kind of style art and just kind of mention them on Twitter isn't actually any kind of deeper collaboration than that. So it, it shows something quite promising for the project, but it really isn't too much. So I'd say overall for this project, it looks quite promising. And I'd say that if they can fully deliver on their roadmap, then it is a really good sign for the future of this project. However, I do slightly worry they may overextend extend themselves and undeliver, which would spell badness for this project. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe button if you did, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.